The antiques expert had purchased a set of fire dogs and irons that she hoped would sell for a huge profit. However, Kate seemingly jinxed her profitability. After becoming overconfident with her sales, gushing over earlier success, Kate said, I'm on a roll, quickly realizing that she may have just jinxed the rest of the auction. She gasped, oh no I shouldn't have said that. Touch wood, touch wood. As her next lot of fire dogs and irons went under the hammer, it seemed Kate really had spoken too soon. The auctioneer started at a low price, prompting Kate to cry, Oh no! Come on! Come on! Come on! Creeping! One for luck! Go on! Selling at a loss of 15 pounds, Kate snapped, me and my big mouth, trying to explain the possible reason for the loss, Kate added, not in fashion at the moment, maybe, as rival Paul Laidlaw quipped, well thank goodness, thank goodness, it comes as the BBC teased that the programme's largest ever sale, breaking the show's record to date, will air this Friday. The five-figure sale will be made by antiques expert Paul on a rare camera, leaving the star with a £19,940 profit. The antique camera dates from around 1861 and was purchased for just £60. Antiques Road Trip continues tomorrow on BBC One at 4.30pm.